I know like the reason why you're doing this is because you want, you know, you want attention, you want people to be there for you. But like you've been catfishing for six years, right? Be honest. How many people do you think you've catfished? I mean, I have literally every social media, probably hundreds. You gotta try to understand, you know, like it was not just about you, like you're also hurting other people. That's hundreds. Yeah. This behavior needs to stop. Hi, Neve and Cammy. My name is Adam. I live out in Lansing, Michigan, and I don't have much experience with online dating. But six months ago, I'd been feeling pretty lonely. I went on Meet Me and found an amazing woman named Mercy. Have mercy, please. She's from Torrance, California, and depending on the outcome of your investigation, she could be the love of my life. Wow. Mercy is beautiful and kind, and she seems to be really into me. I have to admit that I'm not really used to that. I'm a big guy, and from what I've experienced, most people are only into looks. But Mercy told me I was exactly her type. We texted for hours every day. By the end of the summer, we were talking kids and marriage. I love Mercy, and I want to be with her. But there were some things that had been giving me doubts. In August, Mercy said we could video chat, but when we did, there was a weird glare, like someone was filming a screen. Oh, no. If she's not the woman in the photos, I can get past that. I understand not being confident about your looks, but I need to know who I'm really talking to. What parts of her story do you believe and what parts of her story do you not believe? I mean, I believe she is the person in the photographs. Every morning, she sends me a picture blowing me a kiss. I literally have like 50, 60 photos of her. And are they pictures like, can't like regular everyday pictures or are they like? Yeah, they look like, you know, uh, lounging in the house. How serious is your relationship at this point? Honestly, I think she could be the one. I even went to so much as to get a ring. A ring? Wow. A, a ring. <laughs> Have you guys tried to make plans to meet up? We had discussed going on a cruise. It came around to time for us to go, and she said her mom had ended up getting sick, and she needed money for medicine. Oh boy. She was like, it's $460. What did you say? I told her, I don't feel comfortable sending money and we've never met. Ding, ding, ding. Right answer. But I can come bring you the money. She said, okay. She gave me her address and told me to come through. So you never sent the money and you obviously you never went to California, right? No. But you guys continue talking. Yeah, we talk every day. Hi. Hello. Hello. What, uh, what's your name? I'm Frank. Frank? Yeah. Yes. Hello, Frank. The connection's a little weird. Are you Mercy? Yep. OK. And where do you live? I live in Africa. Wow. Oh, man. Where? Africa's a big place. I live in OK. Was anything you told me to? Was there any part of the story that you told me that was true? No. All the story I told you was a lie. I mean, is this something you just do there for fun? Or, like, why do you do this? Why do you catfish people? The reason why I catfish people is because I'm not financially stable, and that's what I do to feed my family. What makes you think that it's any different anywhere else, though? What makes you think that I don't have problems? I get eight, $900 a month. That's all I have to live on. I barely pays for living here. 
but you want some of that money. And me, being the person I am, trusting you, even loving you, was willing to do that. Do you have a family? No, I have a girlfriend. One boy, only one boy, is three years old. But we live together. But I'm not married yet. Does your girlfriend know that you are a catfish? That you lie to people? I didn't tell her about that. How many men have you talked to since you started doing this? Okay, let me say I, I talk to many people. And how how much money do you think you you make doing this? Let me say at least two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars for a month. Do you only talk to Americans? Yes, I yes I I only talk to Americans. Americans, they are. They are very easy to send money through. Other countries, they don't use Cash App, they don't use Venmo, they don't use PayPal. Yes, America is very easy to send, maybe even gift card. So that's why normally I like chatting Americans. But if this is your way to make money, you haven't made any money off of Adam. I haven't made any money from Adam. So why do you keep talking to him? Adam, he, he trusted and he believed our message real. So he told me he's gonna send me the money. But if he keeps delaying, I made my mind that I'm gonna leave him or I'm gonna block him. I'm at a loss of words, I think. I... <laughs> in eight seasons of making this show. This is like the absolute worst version of getting catfished because it's just textbook scammer in Africa who has absolutely no feelings for you. You don't feel the least bit sorry? This is not my dream job, no. I pray to God that you give me a better job so maybe I can stop this for, I can stop this and get a better job. You have to stop calling this a job because this is not a job that you're doing, it's wrong. Who lives at that house that you gave the address to? Why Torrance, California? The address was someone I was catfishing. He gave that address to me. Is that the only address you knew in America? Yeah. You oh, wanted man. us to stay awake because it would ruin the scam you were running? Yes, but he's married too. So another guy that you're catfishing as Mercy lives at that address. Yes. With the woman who answered the door who doesn't know that she's being cheated on. Does that bother you? The fact that he's married and talking to you, that doesn't make you feel like the least bit guilty? Just a little bad. Yes, I think that's a little bad. Well, now I feel like I do need to go back there and knock on the door and deliver some information. Hey, Neve and Cammy. this is Janae. And my friend Red is totally getting catfished by Jalisa, a woman she's never met or even FaceTimed with. But after six years, she refuses to see it. Six years? Whoa. What's worse is Red just got on a plane and is flying to Los Angeles by herself uh -uh. to a city she doesn't know in order to meet Jaleesa. Apparently Jaleesa's in LA this week doing hair, and Red is going down there since it's not far from where she lives in Portland, Oregon. And that's pretty that's far. That's still a, a trip. That's crazy, because Jaleesa has stood Red up multiple times before. Red is going to get hurt again. She doesn't see it. I don't know what to do to help her. But I told her I was going to write to you if she got on the plane. Please give me a call if you can help at this phone number or on Skype. There's a car pulling in. Wait. So we get out. Oh my God! This some bull. Oh, Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Neve. Cammy. It is Ashley. 
Yeah. Right. Anyway, we figured out that a lot of the profiles that Red has been talking to for the past six years are fake. Mm -hmm. We're assuming you're behind most or, or all of them. Mm -hmm. No one else is involved? No. OK, so Shekinah, Tamar. Me, 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 me. Right, I just want to make sure I know all of how many uh -huh. Are there some that we don't even know about? Well, yeah. And are you doing this to anybody else? Of course. Oh, my god. I just want to know why. Like, why? <laughs> what was the purpose? It just started. Why? You hopped in my inbox first. Who, Delisa's? Because I don't even know you. Well, wait, who, when you say he... And I didn't hop in nobody's inbox. You did, though. As Jaleesa, was it Jaleesa? No, you hopped in Shekinah's inbox first. Oh, see? You're not Shekinah. But you skippity skip, skip, hopped. But why? You did the bunny rabbit and you hopped. You hopped your ass in there. OK. Really? Really? Wait. Don't flip this on me, because you did this. Attitude. I'm, I'm going to talk to you. He's he the host. He you the help. Wow. You are the one who is impersonating okay, other people on the internet. Show, not but I'm yours. talking hey. to you. And it's therefore, okay, you well, are here I'm talking to her. on our show with our cameras. <sighs> okay. If you, you call actually... me a bitch one more time, we're going to have a serious problem. So let's be respectful. Yeah. Jesus. Look, if you keep speaking to her that way, then you won't get the chance to speak to any of us. OK. Do you have kids? No. Are you married? No. We just happened to notice on your Facebook page that we found that it says you are married. I Actually, was married. OK. We're just trying Whoa. to find We're out more about you. We're trying to figure out the truth. OK, Eve. Just Ooh. tell us who you are so we know, like, what is real and what isn't. It's just me. Like, how old are you? 24. 24. 24. OK. And you live in Texas. Yes, I do. So if you're 24 now, that means you started these when you were like, when did you first start? Like 12 years old. Well, OK, what? so your first fake profile when you were 12. Yeah. Whoa, OK. How many profiles do you think you've had since you were 12? 3,000. Oh, my 3,000 profiles? Yeah. Pick your chin up, Neve. 3,000? Wow. 3, comma, 0, 0, 0. Wow. I'm addicted, Neve. Well, at least you admit oh. it. I think you need to cut the bull with yourself. I, hold on. You have to start taking responsibility for yourself. It's just a choice you make. Every time you start to slip and you think, like, someone made me feel bad, or I can't do that. Like, like each time I get, the reason why I have so many profiles is because each time I was sad, I start making a new profile. And along with making a new profile, I'm eating a chocolate cake. I'm addicted. Get it together. Because people will like you, and you will have friends, and you can be happy. Um, I know. But only when you stop all these profiles. We could have been friends, just, just you. You need to come out the closet. Yeah. I feel that he is real, but is he lying? Probably. Yeah, if you have to ask. So yes. Hey, Neve. And Cammy. My name is Shakina. I'm 31 years old, and I live in Moreno Valley, California. I've been talking to this guy, Chris, for three years. He's 29, and he lives in Tarzana, California. That's not that far. And they haven't met in three years. He's a musician, and I've been following his music for quite some time. Uh-oh, is he like a famous musician? Around three years ago, I decided to send him a message, and he responded. So she reached out to him. Yeah. I sent him my number, and he actually called me. It was on after that. I don't know what that means. Since then, we've been talking pretty much every damn day. We got close super fast. I've never been with someone so loving before. But I am embarrassed to tell you that there's always been another woman in the picture. What? I know this guy gets attention from a lot of girls. But I can't help but feel like he's hiding a lot of stuff from me. I need your help to figure out if he's serious about me and finally get him to meet in person. Please call me. Shakina. Tell us a little bit about this guy, Chris. Was it Chris? Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually Chris Brown I'm talking to. What? Talking As in to. Chris Breezy. Yes. As in your man ain't me. As yes. in run it, Chris Brown? Chris yes. Brown? <laughs> yes. That's him. How are you so convinced? 
I had to check his voice, and when I did, I checked when he was speaking in interviews and checked his voice on my phone to sound the same. Does he ever video chat? Video chat, he keeps it dark. I don't know what to say. I, I, I mean, I... This is a lot, Shakina. I'm sorry. Forgive me if I'm trying to process. This is a lot. I'm sorry. Have you considered the possibility that you're not talking to Chris Brown? No. No. I'm so confused. What is going on? Hello? Ready, okay. What? Someone else. Hi. This is Chris. Wow. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Is that your name or is no. that? No. No, okay. What so is your name? John Nisha. John, John Nisha. Nisha. But you've been Chris this whole time? Yeah. And maybe you a little bit? No. No. I have been involved. Um, Shakina, you know me as Betty. Who's that? Chris's friend. Okay. Why would you lie? Why would you do that? Why would you put somebody else's face on Facebook? I mean, when you first inboxed me, when we first started talking, it was just a joke. Like, I wasn't, like, really trying to mm -hmm. do all that. I was in a relationship with you, talking to you. That's different. Yeah. Hold on a second. How long have you had the profile? A lot of years. I started when I was, like, probably in 10th grade. And how old are you now? I'm 22. Mm -hmm. OK, so it's been a while. How many people are you talking to the same yeah. way that you were talking to Shakina? Not that many. For as long as her? Probably longer. Longer? Yeah. Wow. What would you say is the longest relationship that you've been in? using this profile? About like, probably like seven years. Seven years? Mm hmm That must be exhausting. And whether you realize it or not, like, you care about these people a lot, but you know you're hurting them. And that probably makes you feel bad. Yeah. Dear Neve and Max, my name is Dylan. I'm 21 years old and live in Browns Mills, New Jersey. I'm writing to you guys because I now suspect the girl I love might not be who she says she is. I met Allie eight months ago. She commented on a post of mine and I was immediately attracted to how adorable she was, so I messaged her. We immediately hit it off. Things moved fast. I think I started falling for her the first week I knew her. Allie is 20 years old, lives in Oklahoma, and works full-time in a hospital just like I do. Whoa. We text all day, every day, because we have so much in common. Around the time we met, I lost my mom, which in all honesty, I have yet to fully recover from. I was only eight Jeez. months ago. I barely knew her, but she was there to lift my spirits up every day. As much as I tried to push everyone away, she still would not leave and I'm so grateful for that. As wonderful and amazing as Allie is, she has refused to video chat on multiple occasions. In all honesty, I never thought she could be lying until a few days ago. I received a text message from someone telling me Allie was not who she said she was. Who's this someone? Who's this mystery texter? I have no idea what to make of this message. I never thought I could be getting catfished, but this is something I cannot ignore. What should I do? Dylan. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Neve. Hi. Mary. Mary, good to meet you. And uh, this is Dylan. Yep. So we, we obviously have a lot of questions. Oh, gosh. I just want you to know I wasn't trying to hurt you. You are my person, and you know that. You've been my person. He's always been there, no matter what. I didn't want it to be like this. I love you and I care about you. 
and I'm so, so sorry about all this. Yeah. Why pretend to be somebody else? I've been doing this for a very long time. I've always been that outcast girl, so then when you go to another world like internet, you get to be whoever you want. And, and what about the girl whose pictures you're using? Her name is really Allie. Um, she's caught me before. She has said some rude things to me, but not, I mean, who wouldn't? You, I've been stealing her pictures. What about your story that Dylan knows is true? You said a lot of things about where you worked and what you wanted your dreams. And... Maybe some things I did say were not correctly right. Um, I do go to college. Are you studying to be in the medical yes, profession? Yes, I do want I do want to be um, a general surgeon. But you don't work at a hospital? No. Obviously, Dylan's gone through a pretty traumatic last couple of years and was pushing people away. Why did you fight to stay in his life? He was my person when I needed him, and I was going to be there even if I wasn't the real person. Did you feel bad oh, that yeah. you had been lying to him at that point? Yeah. I mean, I don't feel good. Have you tried to actually stop it? Yeah, I've tried, and I just go back. There's something that pushes me to go back. The real girl's contacting you, and your cousin's selling you out. Clay and Mason, Clay thought he was talking to right, they confronted Allie's you about sister. It. And right, yeah. they, all these people are kind of like confronting you now. Like, it's like my, it's weird to say to people. Like, it's like my addiction. It's weird to come out, but it, it's like the attention and the strive to get that attention, and you'd pretty much do anything you could to get that attention. You said the word addiction. Yeah. You know, which is um, kind of an admission that things have kind of gotten out of control. Yeah, I'm not going to stop by myself, and I know it's not going to. Ever. I know like the reason why you're doing this is because you want you know you want attention, you want people to be there for you. But like you've been catfishing for six years, right? Be honest. How many people do you think you've catfished? I mean, I have literally every social media, probably hundreds. You gotta try to understand, you know, like it was not just about you, like you're also hurting other people. That's hundreds. Yeah. This behavior needs to, needs to stop for your own safety for other people's well-being. Mm -hmm. What's it gonna take to stop? I honestly don't know.